Today I'm going to read a story called Stick and Stone. You can see they both look pretty happy. It looks like maybe they're friends. This story is by Beth Ferry and Tom Lichten held. That's a long last name. Lichten held. Wow. Stick and Stone. There's the stick. Looks like it maybe fell off a tree. Stick. Stone. Oh. Oh, look at their faces. Do you notice something in their expressions? Neither one looks very happy, do they? Did you also notice something about their names? They start the same way. St, 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 stone, stick and stone. Can you think of another word that starts like stick and stone? St, st, hmm, have you thought of anything? How about straight? St, st, how about stuck? There's a couple more st words. Lonely, alone, a zero, a one. Oh, look, it's the shape of a zero and the shape of the number one. Alone is no fun. You can't do a seesaw with one person, can you? There's nobody to make it go down and up with you. Stick, stone, along comes pine cone. Makes fun of stone. Always oh, laughing at him when he falls off. It would probably be very hard for stone to stay on that swing. He just rolls right off. It's not nice to laugh at someone. Won't leave him alone. Kind of seems like a bully, huh? Vanish, says stick. Vanish means go away. His word does the trick. Oh, how do you think Stone feels? I think he feels pretty grateful to Stick. Stick stuck up for him. He was a good friend. Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick. Stone, no longer alone. Oh look, Stone is helping Stick now so he can reach the rings. Stick, Stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, explore. Lays by the shore. The shore is another word for the beach. Then thunder and rain. Boom! A loud hurricane. Yikes. Stick is wind blown. There goes pine cone. Hold on, calls out stone. Also, stick's not heavy enough to stay down on the ground. He's getting blown around by that strong wind. Again, he's alone. He doesn't know where his friend Stick went. Search day, Stick, Stick, Stick! And search night, no Stick in sight. Oh, did you notice that rhyme? Night, sight. They rhyme. They both end with ite. What's this? A huge puddle? <gasps> Stick stuck in the muddle. He's saying, help. He's upside down. That word is upside down. Help. Stone rescues him quick. Cowabunga. Curse, sploosh. Oh my gosh. He flung himself right into the middle of that puddle and out came Stick. You rock, Stone, 
says stick. Get it? You rock. He needs a rock. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Stick, stone, together again. Stick, stone, a perfect 10. Look, one, zero, that makes 10. Now look at their expressions. They seem pretty happy, aren't they? I bet that's how you feel when you're with one of your friends. To the end, and Pinecone is over here saying, sorry I needled you so much. You get it? Pine cones have needles. And if you needle someone, it means you kind of poke fun at them or poke at them. So at least he's apologizing and he realized what he did was wrong. Maybe they'll agree to accept his apology and they can all be friends. And that's the end of stick and stone. They're cute, aren't they? It would be fun if you wanted to draw a picture of stick and stone. They sure are easy to draw and maybe they could have their own adventure that you could create. Somebody could help you with the words or you could write a lot of them yourself. I hope you enjoyed the story today. See you next time. Bye-bye.